Fort Erie Transit launched its newly enhanced and upgraded services back in October. With three buses running two routes and 168 new bus stops, it brings the service into the 21st century and it also brings buses into communities that were not previously served. I think it gives us a good base to build from. Um, Council was very forward thinking um, in adopting the plan that was presented to them. That plan represents a 5, 10, 10 almost 20 year outlook as to how to grow the transit. So this is the first foray into the plan. You know, we're expecting bugs, bumps and bruises, um, but as we add amenities along the routes and as we add buses, frequency will increase, uh, access to amenities on street like pads and signs and shelters, that will all increase, as well as things anticipated in the plan, like Sunday service, holiday service. All of those things are being planned based on budgetary availability, but they're in a plan. Now we have a way to go forward. With improved service, of course, comes a higher cost. The town's budget for transit has significantly increased, and bus fares have risen as well. It's a large commitment, uh, but it's primarily based on the fact that the community is growing and we want to make sure that as the community grows we have the public transit available for those who are here who don't want to use a car or for whatever reason don't have their own transportation and there are, there are many people uh, who are in that situation so we want to be able to accommodate them. There hasn't been too much of uh, concern expressed about the budget amount except uh, people want to know that when their tax dollars are being spent on something that they're getting value. So the, the concern has been, is this worth the amount of money that we're actually spending? Um, in terms of the, the service itself, um, this expanded service uh, is meant to accomplish positive things for the community. And like some uh, ventures that we get involved in, there are some growing pains. And so we're going to be addressing those. Uh, our commitment is to the riders and to the future riders so that we can make sure that uh, they can get from point A to point B effectively. So the financial commitment that we make is really tied to that, but it's also tied to our strategic plan, which has a, uh, a pillar of growth and prosperity. We want to make sure that as the community grows, everybody participates in the prosperity. Driver Cheryl Woodcox has been behind the wheel of a bus in Fort Erie for 35 years. Nobody knows better than her how riders are reacting to the changes. Actually, the people aren't too bad with the increase in the fares. And I love the idea of the day pass and um, uh, loading cards too. That way, they don't, if they don't have their proper change, they don't have to worry about that. They've got their card to use. We've had a lot of questions, a lot of feedback from the people. They're not happy about the long wait between bus times to get them to and from places. Ridership dipped when the changes were rolled out this fall, but many are beginning to trickle back once they start to understand the new routes. Over the years, I didn't know how much I'd need it versus taking a cab. And the people that do run it over the years, they were all good. So, but when it came down to this, it was got really confusing because I didn't know where I stood to get to my workplace every day. It's a lot of insight. Just talking to Cheryl, I kind of thought she would be here being a regular and, and a driver I knew. So she had a lot of insight on where I needed to be and what I can do next to get back to where I was in case I need them again. The new plan includes 10 new bus shelters along with major upgrades to the transit hub located at the Fort Erie Municipal Center. $150,000 for the changes came from the Ministry of Transportation. Part and parcel of the consulting process with the consultant was to find somewhere that made geographical sense, but also made sense to keep the timing of the routes into that hour format. Uh, so we came up with the Municipal Centre Hub. Two more open houses are planned for November 25th and December 2nd. Construction at the hub should be completed by mid-December. Visit fetransit.ca for information and to purchase a bus pass. Reporting in Fort Erie for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.